I've been using a lot of recycled mobile phone batteries of late in my projects and I want to take you through what, how I've been using them and um, a little module that I found recently on eBay which has been um, a bit of a godsend really. So yeah, this is me raiding my local uh, recycled battery bin. Um, I've got permission obviously and they will find about it. You find a lot of these at supermarkets. I just took as many as I can. I think I've got about six or seven, but I've got a whole drawer full of them now. So the first thing you need to do is to add a little bit of solder to the positive and negative terminals. You have to be careful when doing this because uh, these LiPo batteries don't like to be heated up. So try and add the solder as quickly as possible. This is the module that I use. It has a voltage regulator in it as well as a battery charger. So I stuck this with some double sided tape to the battery. As I mentioned before, the batteries don't like to be heated up and these modules can get a little bit hot. So maybe not the best idea, but I decided to do this for this project just in the name of compactness, I guess. Next thing to do is to connect the battery terminals to the input on the module. And you can see here that I'm using some resistor legs to do that. It's a really good way to keep things neat and tidy wires become messy quite easy so I just cut off a little leg on a resistor and I soldered that to the positive uh, battery uh, input terminal on the um, module and then you can see me just bending this leg over and I'll connect that to the positive on the battery probably should have used some pliers uh, to get better bends here but that's fine it worked okay so you have to solder that onto the, the wire onto the battery terminal as I'm doing here. You also have to do the same thing for the negatives. So again, use a resistor leg to do that. Now here I'm testing the voltage uh, coming out of the um, module. It's 5.61 now. And there's a tiny little potentiometer there that you can twist and you can see the voltage going up there. I set the voltage at 5 volts, but you can set it for whatever you want. I think it goes up to 29 volts. So I added a little micro USB adapter as well. The USB adapter for charging on the module is recessed and it's not really accessible. So I added another uh, one for any project that I make. I just add a, a little um, adapter. It really helps. There's a couple of solder points on the module for the input, voltage input and charging input. So it's quite easy to extend it out and add this adapter, it doesn't need any modifications at all. So yeah, a couple of resistor wires um, and I just double side, double side tape that down. Next I want to check, make sure that it's charging correctly. So I just plugged it in, you can see the indicator light there. Next I added a USB adapter I connected this the same way as I connect everything else with some resistor legs and it's connected to the output on the module there. So um, I'm just stuck it down with some double sided tape. Makes it pretty compact. I also added a voltage regulator. I wanted to see what the, I wanted to be able to see what the voltage was on the battery and it just indicate when I need to charge it up. So I added a couple of uh, wires instead of uh, resistor legs, but I managed to hide that pretty well. You can't really see those wires there. And a little tactile switch allows you to see what the voltage is, and it's reading 4.2. So this is it, final version, finished version. So I'm just testing it now on a phone, making sure that it's working fine. So I plug it in to the USB and it turns on, so great. You can see the battery indicator there. If you want to make your own, check out the description in this YouTube clip to my Instructables page. And uh, yeah, thanks for having a look at this.